yung jeepler All right, so everything's going pretty smooth. I did uh, not do my research on as far as what size socket I needed for the uh, hub assembly nut. I'm gonna have to go get that socket. Uh, I believe it's a 36 millimeter. That's good, we're, we're making some progress. We got one kind of undone here. Come on. Oh. oh, holy crap. That sucked. Nope. There we go. All right, I like that. I like it a lot. Dad gum I thought that was gonna be a problem. The other side's probably gonna be a problem now since I said that, so. Alright, so kind of in a kind of stuck right now. Can't get the knuckle off and with the roll and shit like that. And, and nothing. Alright, I f finally got it off with a uh, pickle wrench. Basically just shoved it here and started hammering it. Shoved it here, started hammering it, and uh finally popped off. What was that? Oh, thank you, Lord. Uh So uh, that ball joint uh, stole my lunch money. Well, uh, today was kind of a poop show. Um, yeah, we st <laughs> we stripped a uh, bolt on one of the ball joints. Okay, so it is uh, the next day. Uh, I've gone through and I'm starting to uh, just kind of paint all this stuff. You don't know. Well, why would you know? Because I probably haven't said it yet in the video. Maybe I have. Uh, I stripped out the uh, ball joints. This we over torqued them because uh, I'm a knucklehead and I wasn't thinking. Uh, just mentally was checked out, shouldn't have been doing this, uh, and so was my buddy. But it's all good. Uh, ordered a whole new set, had to order a whole new set, uh, came with a set of four, an upper and lower, uh, couldn't just individually get the two I needed. So, that kind of sucked, because it was $200, so now I've got $400 in this, but that's how you learn. Uh, just basically gonna go through and, uh, kind of just do a little mist, get something on there, kind of clean this up which is what I really wanted to do. We were kind of in a rush. I was kind of in a rush. I wanted to get it done. Don't be in a rush. Anyways, uh, but that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'll show you the, uh, let's see here. That is pretty much what I got. Uh, just kind of scuffed it up. Use a little brake cleaner, use acetone, whatever you want to use. Took a scotch right bad and scuffed around here and in here and, uh, just kind of took some brake cleaner and wiped it off. You know, the paint, you can tape it all off if you want to. I don't know, I thought that was fine, so. 
It'll be all right. Hopefully. Yeah. Basically, just gonna go back to uh, doing a little misty paint here. look ridiculous anyways i'm done uh i just pretty much i just wanted to do that today before i uh i left had a little extra time knocked that out um but i'm gonna go home and uh hopefully my uh, ball joints will be in tomorrow also got the exact ball joint uh press puller that i needed so hopefully that all works out and uh yeah get them pressed in there get the new brakes on and then eventually got to do the uh, drum brakes and uh i've never done that before apparently they suck to do so figure that one out when we uh, get there yeah that's it today's wednesday hopefully everything works out comes in tomorrow and i can knock it out either tomorrow night or friday probably gonna be friday that's it what's up guys it's like uh, i don't know two weeks since i first started the uh, video and doing the ball joints and so couldn't figure it out tried it numerous different ways a uh, couple other people tried. They just got to the point where I was ready to wave, wave the, the white flag. Well, as you can see here, just like I showed, they are all off now. Basically, what ended up working was I took this right here, put it right here, like so. I use this little piece right here. And that's what pressed the ball joint up. So the ball joint goes up for the top one, comes out up, goes back in down. Uh, for the bottom bottom bore here, that ball joint actually presses down and then presses back up. So basically what I ended up doing is taking this and then this right here, ran the uh, stud down and uh, basically it pressed the press the ball joint up and uh, it came out so sorry i already had them all pulled out it just kind of happened we were just i was so happy um because i was so close to throwing the white talon matter of fact i did but the person didn't show up to come help me and i ended up figuring out so it's worth waiting sometimes or everything just worked out like it was supposed to now i still gotta get them uh pressed back in uh which is gonna be a whole different uh that's going to be a whole different battle, but I'm sure be able to figure it out. Luckily, they're all out, so hopefully we'll get those back in today or the next day. Uh, today's been kind of busy. I just had a few minutes here. Nobody's here, so that's why I'm filming this. But uh, yeah, uh, finally got it out. Everybody always shows these smooth installs. This was by no means a smooth install, and I'm not a mechanic, but it's actually really simple. Yep, I'll uh, kind of cue him when we start installing them. So I know somebody's going to be upset if I don't show exactly how I did it. As you can see here, kind of running out of space. It's kind of hard to get anything up in here. So what you're going to have to do, jacked up on the axle. And then I came up over here and I uh, put two jack stands underneath the frame. That way I could come back here. And uh, obviously without the jack stands, just the jack lowered the axle down and it gave me enough room to get in there and uh, push it off. But that's what it's going to look like gonna push up now for the bottom one you're basically going to do just this in reverse um, so obviously it's gonna come down this way so you're gonna put this here I tell you what I'll just go ahead and show you so you'll have to raise the axle back up to do this one but basically like I said it's just in reverse that little piece of course goes up here but you can see here the ball joints already pressed out so uh, but anyways that's what it's gonna look like when you're trying to press it out uh, and i'll show a video when we press them back in hopefully we uh, get that all figured out too
Oh my gosh. Let me be done with this. I'm so sick of this. You. You. All right. Oh, you know what? That's the wrong button. Just kidding. It's the right one. It's the right one. I do apologize for that. Um, but not really. I don't, actually. You clicked on this video. I didn't do this to you. You're here still watching me for whatever reason. But uh, this is what ended up working. I took this little cup here. That little cup. Like a flat in there. And uh, stacked, <coughs> stacked that on there. And uh, went under here and uh, pressed it on. I originally used this one right here to press it up. But it kept sliding off. Because I used uh, this stuff right here. It's a white lithium grease. BB Blaster. Sponsor me. Don't sponsor me. Sponsor me. Anyways, um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I think I just had it too slicked up and, um, yeah. On to the next one. You know what? I need to show you the next. Let me show you the other side. I'm going to show you. That's what we're looking like. Finally back together. Waiting to do the uh, calipers, the, or excuse me, the rotor and calipers because I kind of have to like jack the axle up and like on that side, add it like this and this. And anyways, just want to make sure I had enough room to do that. On the next one. Alrighty, a little try to figure out this bad boy open. Ah! I'm gonna do a little, actually this goes up this way. Excuse me, had that the wrong way there. Some people they're like, you're doing this the wrong way. And I really don't care at this point. I've uh, gotten to know ball joints really well. And uh, we're friends now, I guess you could say that. Uh, at least three of us are friends now. I don't know about the fourth one, which is the one we're still working on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I remain hopeful that uh, this all works out, so. 22 like that um, I've been kind of facing those towards me not backwards um, I don't know there's like instructions that really matter but that's how I've been doing it mostly because I'm OCD all right sometimes you gotta whack it a little bit to get it right now you're pressing it down that way See, Toledo I think I need a beer I'm gonna have to have a beer something kind of like that. I like it if you work because I kind of want to go home. I'm kind of sick of working on this thing. Where's your home? I think we're getting some more. Yep. 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 Oh, you gonna do that to me? You gonna move on me like that? Oh my goodness. This is my little rod. There we go. That's what I wanted for Christmas. So that's why I did the rod there. You got a little hole here in the frame and uh, it keeps it from pressing the coil or really messing the coil up. Uh, Cause I noticed when I was taking it off, that's what I was doing. So, anywho, something to think about. It's super easy to strip those out, so I kind of get them on by hand and then go back and just carefully hand torque them down. So, like I said, you want to be real careful doing this. I learned from the last set, just kind of start feeling it tugging a little bit. I'm probably going to go a little, let's see where are we at. We go a little, yeah. Call it there. Break it up. Here. Come on. All right. Yep. All right. We're about ready to torque. Yeah.
this is going to get torqued down to 175. So, uh, guess what I forgot now? The uh, brake dust shield. Yep, so uh, pulling all this back, back apart. Really gonna be good at this. <laughs> I uh, broke a caliper bolt, the other piece out of the knuckle. So, I don't know. Let's see how that goes. All right, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy right now. I got it out. I uh, I was really thinking this was gonna be a problem. Uh, thank you, God. Thank you. Very blessed um, that this came out. Um, I ended up just taking vice grips and uh, just worked it out. It wasn't a big deal. So I'm gonna go to the parts store and just get a whole new set of uh, caliper bolts. Didn't know I probably should have done that anyways, but. I'm going to do that now. all right so i haven't given an update last clip there i was uh, tightening the lug nuts down learned a lot of it on this jeep like i've it's been incredible how much i've learned uh just by continuously having to redo things because of one little thing being off they sent me the wrong hub the uh lip on it uh, matter of fact, let me show you that. So here is my OEM hub, and this is what was wrong. The one they had sent me, the lip was probably another good inch or so higher. And what was happening was I would set the Jeep down, and then the brakes were locked up. So I was thinking I got the wrong brakes. So called the company and sent the brakes back because I thought that's what it was. Wasn't the brakes. Um, because I ended up trying another set of brakes and I thought, well, maybe it was that set of brakes too. Well, it was neither of that, uh, neither of those were the issue. It was actually the fact that I had got the wrong hub. Like I said, it was an inch or so higher than it needed to be. Got a little distracted there. Somebody just pulled up to uh, pick their checkup. But what I've learned with this Jeep is that all these frustrating things I've had to go through and wrong parts or things that I just didn't have uh, right has all worked out because now I know how to do all of this. I know what to look for and I've gotten even better parts. So I ended up getting the rotors and pads from a different uh, parts store and uh, ended up going with ceramic brake pads, which apparently don't have brake dust, which is really cool. Uh, did these uh, new rotors too. I don't know what brand uh, they are, but they were look like to be a lot more of a better quality and ended up doing new hubs as well. And uh, I think the ones I'd got were kind of cheap. So th these ones seem to be a lot better quality too. So ended up having to do new brake calipers as well. Uh, those locked up on me and uh, one of them did. And so I just decided to do the whole new brake set. So Basically, that's what happened, um, and I've, all I've got left to do is re-bleed the brakes, 
and uh, I'll be good to go in the front. I still think I've saved a lot more money doing this myself and I've learned a lot. So basically gonna bleed the brakes, put the wheels back on and be good to go with this. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at. That was the calipers, uh, they're side specific, and the easiest way to tell them which side they go is the bleeder valve needs to be above the uh, brake line. And uh, if you don't do that, you'll never be able to bleed them. Uh, spent about three, four hours or so. Spent a lot of time and had help, and uh, we were both pissed off that we couldn't figure it out. And it wasn't because we didn't have the vehicle on, although that's what somebody said, it was actually because we just had it upside down and by we i mean this guy so anyways um next video brake drums gonna be doing the brake drums and then all new wheel studs did order a lift kit wheel lift kit is coming and uh that's that so i'll show you all that other crap in the next video it's back at the house now i got it cleaned up so it'll be kind of a different scenery and i'm gonna put the top back on and i've done talking now talked a lot so bye Still here, huh? Well, now that I have your attention here for a few more seconds, I will say, if you can, like and subscribe. It doesn't really matter. I'm just having fun with this crap, but, you know, hey, wouldn't hurt to just click that. Tell you what, got an Instagram. Maybe you want to go check that out. Got some pictures of my Jeep on there. Got some detailing stuff on there. People like it. Some people don't. People like telling me they don't like it. Anywho... Uh, also have a TikTok uh, if you want to go check that out. Hate that I'm on any of these sites, but hey, we're going to have fun with it. And uh, don't fall in the rabbit hole and spend way too much time on social media. Anyways, I love you. Have a good day.